So something I like to do from time to time is to go out and to explore different areas. And with that, I like to capture some footage and sometimes edit those into little sequences or montages. Usually not quite as dark as the one that you saw at the beginning of this video, but something of that variety. So what you did see at the beginning of this video was an old abandoned penitentiary out here in Idaho. So I just went through with a friend and did some exploring and again, just kind of got a little bit of footage. So whether you have a TikTok or whether you do videos on Instagram or whether you've got a YouTube channel, being able to edit your own footage is super helpful. and. Final Cut Pro is a great way to do that. Now, personally, when I first started doing higher level video editing, one of the things that I was stuck between is whether I should use Adobe Premiere, which is what a lot of professionals like and a lot of YouTubers and creative professionals like. And then there's Final Cut Pro, which a lot of professionals like as well. I've noticed I think a lot more people tend to lean more towards the Premiere than the Final Cut Pro, but either way, either of them works. What I found is that it kind of comes down to personal preference. Both have their pros and their cons. However, as much as I liked Final Cut Pro and the UI and the layout and all the things that worked well for the way that I work, one glaring problem that I found with Final Cut Pro is that you cannot do adjustment layers. So things like Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Premiere, of course, have the ability to add a layer, which have a number of different effects that you lay on top of an image that will enable you to edit that without actually editing the specific layer with the video or the image itself. Okay, but without any further delay, let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at how and why to use adjustment layers in Final Cut Pro. Okay, so here is the montage that you saw at the beginning of this video. And as you can see, I've kind of got like this frame effect in here, and I've also got like uh, the clips individually in here with a little fade out that goes at the end of every single individual clip. Now, what we would typically do if we were not using adjustment layers is I would find whatever base clip I want to use for all of my color grading, right? So I would want to pick maybe this clip. And then what I would do, and let's just go ahead and deactivate the frame just to make this a little bit easier, but we'd select that clip. Then we would go into colors and we would start to do our adjustments. Now, just so you know, you don't have to necessarily use this for color grading, right? You could use this for any type of effect that's built into Final Cut Pro. So again, if you wanted to add in, you know, coloring effects, which we're kind of doing, but manually, or lighting effects, or really anything you would like to apply to Final Cut Pro, what you would typically do is you would apply that to one clip and then you would paste it across to all the other clips. If we wanted to apply this particular effect, uh, our color grade, if we wanted to apply that to all these clips, what you'd do is you go in here and you'd start messing with your, uh, well, this is exp uh, saturation, we wanna do exposure. So we'd mess with the exposure a little bit. Then maybe touch the, the saturation, we go through this whole process, right? Well, then what you'd have to do is you would go in and you would then select that clip, right? So we would click and select it copy and then you would select all of the other clips individually and then you could paste that effect right and then we'd see it applied to all these clips but of course that's kind of annoying particularly if you have to go through the process let's go ahead and reset this real quick there we go particularly if you decide one clip after you know after like 10 clips maybe you've decided that you want the whole color scheme to change for everything, you have to go through and copy and paste to all those clips, or you could do something which is a lot easier and you can apply an adjustment layer. So like I said, this is not built into Final Cut Pro, but there are a ton of plugins and I'm going to leave a link in the description to one that is totally free and it tells you how to install it as well. We're not gonna get into that in this video, but it's super easy to find a free one out there. Again, linked in the description and to install one. So all we've done here is we've applied this adjustment layer. And what I like to do as well is just rename these to be organized and specific as to what it is I'm working on. So in this case, I'm working on my color grade and it's good to specify that just so, particularly if you start getting a lot of adjustment layers, it just kind of helps you keep things organized. Okay, so I'm gonna do my color grade real quick. I wanna pull that darkness down a little bit, mid-tones will bump up a little saturation. I'm actually gonna keep the saturation low. I'm gonna go ahead and search for a LUT. If you're not already familiar with what a LUT is, a LUT is kind of a, a pre-packaged look. Typically that has to do with color. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into those LUT settings. So they're kind of pre predefined and pre-configured 
So I already had one in here that I was going to use called Wolf's Wood. And as you can see, it kind of brings that dark grungy look into it. And what I also want to do is I think that Wolf's Wood kind of helps lean it this direction already. But I'm also going to jump in here, go to color. I'm just going to pull off, pull up the greenish hues a little bit. So I don't, I don't want to go too crazy because I, I also I don't want to get rid of all some of the oranges in there as well. But I'm going to bump that up just a little bit. It kind of fits the look that I'm after for this particular montage and these particular clips. OK, so let's say maybe you're going through your edit and you notice that, you know what? One of these clips is just a little bit darker than I wanted it to be, particularly if we go from here to here, it's a little dark. So what you can do is you can actually cut just like you would any other clip in Final Cut Pro. All you'd have to do is line up your playhead right where you want to cut and then you can cut this adjustment layer. And then all you have to do is jump in here and then make any of the edits that you want and they'll only apply to this clip. So there we go, just a slight adjustment and we're off and running. Let's go ahead and click play. And we can see that kind of blends a little bit better from this clip to this clip. So this one's not super bright as compared to that one. You can make as many of these as you want. So then as you can see here, you'll be able to stack in as many of the uh, different effects that you want to. You can reorder them just as you would to one individual clip. And the great thing is that they're just layered on top. The other cool thing about an adjustment layer is that if you want to be able to toggle back and forth between what all of your effects look like and then also what they look like if they're off, you can just press V on your keyboard to disable that clip or to disable that adjustment layer, just like you would any other clip. Now, kind of an added bonus uh, is the ability to use these as kind of a hacky thing, but you can use these adjustment layers as notes. Now, traditionally, you might say, OK, well, isn't that what markers are for? And the answer is yes. You just press M on your keyboard and it adds one of these little markers. And you can turn it into a to do as well that whether or not it's completed. The problem is you can't really move these. You can't really like drag them around or cut them and paste them. They're just obnoxious to work with. They can work sometimes, but I found that just having the, the freedom and flexibility to be able to just kind of click on a layer and then move it around to wherever you want is really helpful. So I can just, you know, right click, rename. And if I'm just making a note of a particular thing I want to do, I can resize it. I can move it around. I can, you know, up, down, anywhere I want it to be, I can just move it around and it's super simple. So that's pretty much it. I know that for probably the first two or three months I was working with Final Cut Pro, I was not using adjustment layers. I was going through selecting 10, 20, 30 clips and manually applying my changes to each of them every single time. So I want to save you from having to go through the same difficulty and trouble by just using adjustment layers. And like I said, I'm going to leave a link in the description to one that you can get absolutely free. And there's a ton of them out there, but hopefully that's going to save you a ton of time as you're creating your videos in Final Cut Pro. If you found this video useful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.